Okay, shall we make a start then? I'm making a card and I'd done a small version and when I'd finished it, I wasn't happy with it because the I, I'm using the Tide Bouquet and the Tide Bouquet just looks too too big on the size of the card. So I thought I changed the size of the card <laughs> and then it all went it all went belly up, I'm afraid. So um, I have done a card and um, I've already made one, which is the small one. So I'm going to give you the measurements for the one that I'm making. OK, but you'll notice that what I've done is I've put you a full materials list at the beginning of this video. So you've got the measurements for both cards. OK, so just pause the video so that you can write it down or take a screenshot, whatever you want to do. Both versions of the card are there for you. OK, right. So I'm using the Tide Bouquet. Now, I've done all my stenciling um, because I didn't want to spend time doing the stenciling because I'm making a card that you have to put together. So I wanted everything ready and done so that I could just show you how to make the card. OK, how you decorate it is entirely up to you and um, I've used designer paper on the small one that I'm going to show you but I've done stenciling to use as my panels for the one that I'm making today however you want to do it is up to you if you want to make the panels so that they actually fit the pinwheel then you can if you want to make them slightly smaller so that you've got a, you can get um, a matte layer in there then you can do that as well as I say how you de decorate it is entirely up to you so we're using that tied bouquet I have embossed it and I have die cut it um, and obviously I've used the stencils to go with it I'm also using the wisteria background because I just adore it um, I, I just think it's it's just the perfect um, background layering stencils and and when you emboss it it's great I haven't embossed it today um, I, I didn't want it embossed I just wanted the flat um, stencil background and I've also used the layering cubes okay and um, and I've done different panels with that as well okay so that's everything that I've used so this is the card you can see it's a pinwheel and can you see what I mean about the tide bouquet just looks a little bit too big on there because the idea behind this size card was that it would fit in an A2 size envelope so sort of for our USA um followers this would have been a perfect size for their postage it is a bit bulky in the middle but i think it will still get through their um system as a an a2 envelope so you can decorate it how you like um i have put um a sentiment in there and you can also use one of the panels to put your white piece of card in um, where you can write your greeting or whatever okay so again how you do the panels is is totally personal choice really but i just think when that's sat up on on somebody's table or mantelpiece or wherever they put their cards i just think it's it's dead cute so mine's going to be ever so slightly bigger than this today okay so let's just put that to one side now then we're going to start with making the tower. There are two ways of making these. This one I've made by using one piece of card and making the tower out of one piece of bigger card and then making the extra panels. On this one, I'm making a separate tower. OK, so there are there are two different methods to put them together. So for your tower, you're going to need a piece of cardstock, which is five by four and a quarter so in order to make my tower on the four and a quarter side i am going to score this at one inch intervals so i've got one inch two inches three inches and four inches and that's going to leave me an extra little piece here that is going to help me to make my tower now you can use red liner tape if you want to Personally, I would use wet glue because um, red liner tape can tend to dry out. And the last thing you want is for this to just sort of all um, peel apart. Now, because you've got equal um, pieces here, you can just fold this card in half to meet that piece that you've just folded over, that tiny little piece, and just 
press it down, make sure that glue is adhered. So that's my tower. OK, now I'm always going to add my pieces of card onto the top piece of each time I turn this tower around. So I'm always going to go on the top piece of the tower. OK, so my next pieces are these and these are. I should have three, five by three and a half. These are all inches, OK? And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to glue them down onto my tower. Four pieces that measure five by three and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these down to my tower, OK? So I'm going to go like this, and I'm always going to glue to the top panel, all right? So I'm going to add my glue to my panel. Make sure you don't go too near the... Um, the edge because you don't want your glue to ooze out but put enough on that it's going to it's going to adhere properly okay and when you're adding this down you want to make sure that you line it up to the top and the bottom of the tower okay but only go as near to the edge as you can without going over the edge of the actual um, long piece all right if I show you what I mean and you'll you'll get it so I've lined it up top and bottom and I've gone as near to the edge as I can without actually going over because if you go over the edge then it's not going to it's not going to fold right okay so that's your first piece of your tower so then I'm going to fold it again and again I'm gluing to the top panel so I'm going to put my glue on the top piece here Plenty of, but not near the edge. I'm just going to fold my tower so that I'm back on track with my panels. OK, so top and bottom and as near to the edge of that tower piece as you can get without going over the edge. Don't panic when you get to this bit and think, oh, I haven't done that right, because this is the, the main piece of the card. You have done it right and it will sit right when you put it all together. I know our, our Mary Kelly does these cards and I always think they look fantastic. So I thought, let's share it. Let's have umpteen pinwheel cards in the group. OK, there we go. So that's your basis of your pinwheel card. I'm just going to press that down a little bit more. So all you want to do is make sure that you've glued all your pieces. In fact, I'm just going to go and just burnish all those edges just to make absolutely certain that they're all glued down. Because you want this card to stand up really beautifully. So scoring those edges is quite important. OK, so there we go. There's your basis of your pinwheel card. Now you get to the easy bit. So you've got two different size panels here. OK, you've got a large panel and a small panel. Now you can decorate this, as I said, any way you like. But what I did this morning was I stenciled the wisteria background. Now these colours are all the new colours. OK, and they are just divine. But I wanted to use them because I wanted to show you how soft they are. They're just beautiful, beautiful colours. If I just flick my light on, you might just be able to... That might be a bit better. You might be able to see the colours a bit better. It was a little bit dark there. Um, so these, these are the colours that come with the, the new set that are going on Lisa's website. Um, they are just divine. There's some darker colours. There's two or three browns. There's a couple of greens. There's um, a peachy colour, which is divine. There's one that's called almond frosting. And that is amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. In fact, the almond frosting is, is this, this one here. It's just gorgeous. So this is almond frosting. Um, I think it's coral. Coral peach. And the other one is antique pink. 
and I've used the same colours all the way through. So on my tied bouquet, on my wisteria and on these, I've used exactly the same colours. Um, I mean, the margarita is a really vibrant, limey sort of green and it's beautiful. Um, in fact, this, this is the margarita. The base of these leaves is margarita. Then there's a, a eucalyptus, which is a sort of, um, it's a bluey green. And then there is painted eggshell, which is, um, it's not really a green, but it's not really a blue. It's just divine. So we're going to go ahead and decorate our panels. OK, now I've done four of these because there are four large panels. But what you could do is leave one of these off and make this a white panel. And just put a little bit of um, stenciling on one corner or something. Or you could use this as your as your um, panel and then put a white panel in the middle. It's entirely up to you. Right. So I'm going to put my panels down. I'm going to start with the larger panels. And all the large panels are the same and all the smaller panels are the same. But if you want to do yours differently, then then that's absolutely fine. It's it's totally what you want to do. So let's let's put these down before we lose any more power. Just lucky that I've got some sort of internet signal rather than losing the power altogether. OK, so there is a little bit of a mat and layer on these. I'm not putting a, another panel behind it. Because I didn't. Um, I didn't want another panel behind it. OK. So we're putting our large panels down. I just love this wisteria. It's just beautiful. And these colours just, I think they're just perfect. Um, I mean, I do like a really sort of purple wisteria. There's a, a house not far from us that has wisteria and it, and it flowers beautifully every year. And it's a beautiful, soft lilac -y colour but I like these colours I think they're really nice and as I say I've used the same colours throughout so even on my tied bouquet I've used exactly the same colours now you you're not going to get exactly the same colours each time you stencil no matter how hard you try well I don't think you will anyway um I did try and get the same colours but there might be a little bit of variation between one panel and the next, but I don't think you're going to notice because you're not going to be able to look at all four panels at the same time. OK, so that's our large panels. And then you can see here that I've used the layering cubes and I've done um, four pieces. Now, there are two that are a little bit darker and two that are a little bit lighter. That's just because I was a bit heavy handed on the one and not on the other but i don't think it'll matter because again you're not going to be able to see all four panels at the same time now you'll notice this one's a different way around as well that's because i ran out of card and i ran out of time to do another one but i don't think it will matter one little bit so again we're just going round, adding our panels in And then, like I say, one of those panels where you've put that wisteria, you can, if you want to, um, leave one of those out and just put a white panel in with perhaps, you know, a little bit of stenciling in one corner. Um, or just don't put a wisteria panel in, just put a different panel with a little bit of stenciling in one corner. It, it's exactly what I said at the beginning absolutely 100 percent personal choice so i'm just placing all these down here like this and we're nearly we're nearly done so despite the best efforts of the powers that be that don't want me to be live apparently today we got there in the end. OK, so you see there was room if you wanted to put a little mat and layer behind these as well. 
um, to put to put a little mat behind those panels if you really wanted to but I don't think it needs it so then you just need to choose which one you want as your front piece and add your stenciled flowers on now looking at it now maybe I should have just kept one piece a little bit plainer um, so that these flowers stood out but I don't really think it matters it again it's personal choice um, and it just gives a little bit of interest in the background I am running low on glue in this bottle I've got two more so I'm not worried <laughs> but it's, it's just I think this glue is by far the best glue out there on the market don't think you can beat it at all so I'm just going to add that I shouldn't have put glue there because it's going to sit over the edge I'm going to add that down now when you're adding this make sure you don't go too near this edge because if you do it won't it won't sort of um, work properly and you want to make sure that your ribbon that's on here doesn't come below this bottom piece here otherwise your card won't stand up straight okay so that's my pinwheel now with sentiments you please yourself it's it's whatever sentiments you've got um i would probably use the um foiled and plain sticker sentiments because they're easy they're quick and they just fit just nice so you can put just one you can put something on each panel if you wanted to but the basis is the pinwheel in the middle so i just think it's a different card um i've always liked seeing mary's cards in the group because i know mary does some of these um and i just thought it would be nice to have a go and um, give you a little bit of inspiration to give it a go yourselves thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for sticking with me um, I do appreciate it. So I'll see you all very soon. Bye now.